Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will discuss a very widely used term in statistics, that is confidence interval. And we will see what is the significance of confidence interval and how to calculate it. So, let's discuss the agenda for today's session. We will start this tutorial by understanding estimation and confidence intervals. Then, we will move on to discuss the level of confidence. After that, we will discuss the importance of interval estimation and margin of error. And finally, we will learn how you can calculate confidence interval with the help of an example. So, let's move further ahead. Estimation and confidence interval Using descriptive and inferential statistics, you can make two types of estimate about the population. One is point estimate and other is interval estimate. A point estimate is a single value estimate of a parameter. For instance, a sample mean is a point estimate of a population mean. An interval estimate gives you a range of values where the parameter is expected to lie. A confidence interval is the most common type of interval estimate. Both the types of estimate are important for gathering a clear idea of where a parameter is likely to lie. The confidence interval is a range of values. It is expressed as a percentage and it is expected to contain the best estimate of a statistical parameter. The two most frequently used confidence interval are 95% and 99%. A confidence interval of 95% mean that it is 95% certain that our population parameter lies in between this confidence interval. Now, what is level of confidence? With respect to estimation problems, Alpha refers to the likelihood that a true population parameter lies outside the confidence interval. The level of confidence is denoted by 1 minus alpha and it is usually 90%, 95% or 99%. Alpha is usually expressed as a proportion. So if the confidence level is 95%, then alpha will be equal to 1 minus 0.95, that is 0.05. Now, let's move on to discuss what this confidence level means. A 95% confidence interval of the mean is a range with an upper and lower number calculated from a sample. Because the true population mean is unknown, this range describes the possible values that a mean could be. If multiple samples are drawn from the same population and a 95% CI calculated for each sample, we would expect the population mean to be found within 95% of these confidence intervals. 95% of the sample means for a specified sample size will lie within 1.96 standard deviations of the hypothesized population mean. Similarly, for 99% confidence interval, 99% of the sample means will lie within the 2.5 standard deviations from the population mean. Now let's see how you can calculate the interval estimates. The interval estimate can be calculated by adding and subtracting the margin of error to the point estimate. It gives us the idea of how close the point estimate is to the value of parameter. The general form of the interval estimate is x bar plus minus margin of error. To calculate the interval estimate, we have the formula x bar plus minus z s divided by root n, where x bar is the sample mean, z is the number of standard deviations from the sample mean, s is the standard deviation, and n is the size of the sample. Now that we have discussed the interval estimate and the margin of error, let's understand all this concept with the help of an example. Suppose a student measuring the boiling temperature of a certain liquid observes the readings on six different samples of the liquid. He calculates the sample mean to be 103.4 and if he knows that the standard deviation of this procedure is 1.2 degrees. We have to calculate the confidence interval of the population mean at a 95% confidence interval. So using this formula of interval estimate, x bar plus minus z into s by root n, we'll find the confidence interval. Here, x bar is 103.4 and z value is 1.96, corresponding to 95% confidence interval. And standard deviation is 1.2 divided by root 6, which is a sample size. So calculating 
we'll get the value to be 102.47 and 104.33 which shows that it is 95% certain that our population parameter lies between this confidence interval. So with this we have come to an end to this tutorial. Thank you all for watching this session. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section of this video. Thank you again and happy learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.